So I am going to show you all a very cute family video, right? So the two parents are going to come into the frame and then they're going to bring over their eight adult sons. And then the son's wives are going to come in and all the grandbabies. It's very cute. It's very wholesome, right? So let me go ahead and show you that video. And you can come to your own conclusions. <laughs> Y'all know that I'm a just flower. I'm a very unbiased tower, right? So if they had done this video and one, maybe two of the sons had ended up with non-black wives, then I would have been like, okay, you know, like not everybody has the, um, the stance towards interracial relationships that I do. You know, I personally don't see one happening for me, but hey, not everybody's like that. Maybe one or two of them just happened to come across a non-black woman who they really you know, enjoyed the company of, and they were like, hey, let's, let's do this thing, okay, right, but she's telling me that seven out of eight of these black men just happened to end up with non-black women, honestly, that feels a little bit forced, and I would say the same in reverse, if this was a, a video, right, of two white people who came together and showed their eight adult sons, and then seven out of eight of the sons marry black women. I'll be like, that's, that's, that's forced, definitely, right? Statistically, it's just very improbable, okay? So, I mean, we, we honestly, we got to get into this, of course. Now, I'm not mad that this video was made because I'm not going to sit here and say that those grandparents should not embrace their grandchildren or that those men should not embrace the families they've created or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying, right? But I'm just going to speak my opinion on it as an outsider. First of all, I feel like if I had eight kids and seven of them married nine black people, I would definitely be like, yeah, uh, I messed up somewhere along the way. Something, something in the upbringing definitely went wrong for seven out of eight of my kids to marry nine black people. Because, again, that's very statistically improbable. If it had been one, maybe two, it would have been like, okay, well, you know, that's life. It happens, right? But seven out of eight of them, that was very intentional. You telling me that something about the way that they were raised resulted in seven out of eight of them going after non-black people? I would have to look at my parents and be like, well, what led to this? Because clearly, clearly there is, there is a, a common denominator here. Y'all want to know the scary thing? Y'all want to know the scary thing? Is that this video represents what is happening to blackness in America as a whole, right? And the scary part is that there are going to be people in the comments of this video. I promise you, they're coming, okay? And they're going to be like, well, golly gee, all of those children are black because the eight sons were black. And all that matters is the father's seat. It doesn't matter if a Becky carried those children, they're still black, right? There's going to be people in the comments talking about white racials are black, my home skidly, so those are black grandchildren. Like, I cannot stress to you all enough that blackness is being erased right before our very eyes. And a lot of black people are okay with it. Now, again, I'm not expecting these grandparents to be ashamed of their grandchildren or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not mad they posted this video or anything. Hey, that's your family. Love them, post them, embrace them, whatever, right? But what I'm just like taken aback by is the fact that people are going to be pretending that this video is pro-black family. They're going to be like, yeah, these seven black men went and had children with non-black women, but somehow the children are still black. They still furthered the black race. They're still putting money into the black community by marrying non-black people and having non-black children because somehow, yeah, the kids are still black. This is, this is, you know, this is that like, that, that complex analytical type math or so whatever. You don't know, like, I just, honestly, I don't get it. And I don't think I ever will. 